Hi everyone, it's Kara, and I wanted to show you the pen or pencil case that I was talking about in an earlier video, and this is it. It is the Kipling 100 Pens Pencils Case in Vibrant Pink. It's definitely vibrant. I love the color, and it has a little um, monkey keychain attached to it, which I'm going to give to a friend, and... I wanted to just kind of show it to you guys before I loaded it all up. Basically, it unzips all the way around the front, and then when you open it up, it has slots right here for all your pins, and on this side. And then when you turn this, there's actually this large pouch right here where you can put a ton more. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get all my pens organized and arranged and show you what it looks like when it's all full so you can see it kind of before and after. So this is the before and I will be back with the after. Bye! Okay guys, so I'm back. I have filled up my pen case with my pens which has uh, really showed me that I don't need any more pens. This isn't even all my pens, to be completely honest. I have some um, over to my side in a little, you know that Pampered Chef um, spinny thing that people put their spoons and all those things in for cooking, for their kitchen utensils. Oh my goodness, couldn't think of it. For their kitchen utensils, I have that one over to my side that has, among other things, some pens, some pencils, scissors, paintbrushes, all that jazz. So this is actually just part of my pen collection, and it's actually kind of sort of full and like I said before the first part of this video this is a Kipling 100 pen or pencil case and I showed it to you empty so I'm going to show it to you full but I just want to say that when I show this to you I know you're going to want to judge me but you have to understand <laughs> that I really like pens really like them so please be kind when you see this okay so you open it up again you will see that here are the top ones and I put the pens that I have in here the three recollection ones and then all of these um, are those the Stadler's ones I think the the fine liners yeah so I put all those in here I have a couple extra loops left um, I do actually to be completely honest have a some duplicates of these colors because I had a few of them that I got individually. Those duplicates are over there in the spinny thing. So then you have the big open area underneath. Okay, remember this is where the no judgment thing comes in, okay? So here it is. And you can see that I have some friction pens, the ballpoint ones that I showed in another video, I think. Um, just kind of a variety. I also have some gel pens some of those. I have quite a variety of pens in here um, because I did have some that I was using for art journaling too, but I put them in here because I think they'll be good for the file facts as well. So that is the big chunk of my pen collection. I do have more, like I said, but that's the big chunk. And I'm going to try and be really, really good and not order any more pens. Although technically I have one more order coming. Again, remember, there's no judging. No judging because I shared the pretty pink pen case with you guys. So I got this one over on Amazon. I want to say it was $29.99. It seems to be really good quality. Uh, it's packed with my pens, as you can see. And it's, you know, staying closed really well. The material is nice. I love the color, and it does come in several other colors. So if you're not a pink person, you can go check it out. There's a ton of others. And I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, anything that I didn't cover, um, leave me a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So I hope that wherever you're at, you're having a good day. And I hope that you are having fun with some of your favorite things, whether they're pins or file faxes or whatever. And I think that's it. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.